Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd ayya al-habitu fillah Continue on in our reading Of encouraging harmony and wisdom and da'wah And warning from discord The Shaykh Mink was mentioning about his trip to Sudan And dealing with a lot of extreme Sufis there and that due to wisdom and beautiful preaching and not insulting their scholars and insulting their their sects that they belong to, that they had the bayat to, that they were accepting of his dawah. So that at times it's necessary to have this beautiful wisdom in preaching. He said, then we traveled to a town called Kasala or Kasala. We gave dawah there and it was great, mashallah. Alhamdulillah, Allah benefited the people there. It is a small town, so we visited all of the masajid there. So the brothers of Ansar Sunnah said, there is only one masjid that we have not visited yet, and it is upon the Tijani methodology. And it is a masjid that we have never been able to enter. So I asked why? They said because the people that attended are strong and stubborn followers of this way. <coughs> I said, will we go there and ask permission? If they permit us to speak, we will speak. If they do not permit us to speak, we will leave and that is up to Allah. We did not come here with force. So we went there and the Imam led the prayer. After the prayer, I approached him and gave him salams and said to him, do you mind if I give a small talk to the brothers? So he said, go ahead. So I spoke, may Allah bless you. And I called to Allah, and I called to Tawheed, and I called to the Sunnah and so on. And at the same time, I refuted the mistakes and the misguided be beliefs that were present until I reached the hadith of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, uh, where she said, three things, if anyone were to tell them to you, then he has lied upon Allah, a great lie. Whoever tells you that Muhammad وسلم, has seen his Lord has lied a great lie upon Allah. And whoever says that Muhammad وسلم, knows the future has lied a great lie against Allah Taala. And whoever claims that Muhammad وسلم, did not relate the whole religion to the people has lied against Allah, a great lie. So he got up and he said, by Allah, Muhammad saw his Lord with his own two eyes that are on his head. So I said to him, may Allah reward you with good. As for Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, she is the most knowledgeable of his affairs. And she said that he did not see his Lord. And by Allah, if he had seen his Lord, he would have told her. He kept on talking. So I said to him, wait until I finish what I have to say and then you can ask whatever you like. That which I know, I will answer. That which I do not know, I will tell you I do not know. <clears throat> I left him and I continued speaking and I was not really sure if he stayed or if he left. Slowly I heard one of the men in the crowd saying, by Allah, what this man is saying is the truth. May Allah bless you. Then the Adhan of Isha was called and I finished my speech. Then the Iqama was called and the people started pushing me to lead the prayer. So I said, never, never, the Imam should lead the prayer. They said, by Allah, you lead the prayer. So I said, okay, and I led the prayer. After the prayer, the youth from Ansar Sunnah and myself left the masjid. And I asked, where's the Imam? They said, they kicked him out. Who kicked him out? His own Jama'ah kicked him out. By Allah, this is what, this is what happened. So Ahabatifillah, having wisdom, and gentleness in your speech and in your preaching can go a long way and have positive effects with the aid of Allah Azza wa Jal. Then the Shaykh said, but if one was to come to them with this foolishness and insult them, meaning if you came to them harsh, insulting their leaders and their dawah, meaning the Tijaniya and the Burhaniya and so on and so on, if one was to say this, 
who would accept it? But if you came to them with wisdom and kindness, may Allah bless you. Allah benefited them with this. Allah benefited them with this. So, oh brothers, use beneficial knowledge and strong irrefutable proofs and evidences and wisdom in your dawah. And it is upon you to have all of the beautiful and noble manners that the book of Allah to Allah and the Prophet of guidance, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, encouraged us to have. Because they are the tools of victory and they are the tools of success. Know that the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu did not spread Islam and have it enter into the hearts of the people except with wisdom and softness. Because the one who entered Islam by the way of knowledge and evidence, inshallah ta'ala, inshallah will have strong iman. So it is upon you to follow these good ways. And it is upon you to be serious about knowledge as it is upon you to be serious about giving dawah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, ahabatifillah, again, many countless, uh, countless uh, wisdom and benefit that we could gain from this if we only begin to practice and have this wisdom and kindness. Something simple as being gentle with the people can go a long way and it, it can bring about so much good, whether they're Muslim or non-Muslim. If you show them kindness, you show them the haq, and you show them this truth with kindness, either they will accept it, or at least they will not be as hostile towards you, and hostile towards the deen of Allah Azza wa Jal, which will only hurt them. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.